as the rundown goes, just kind of like something that mimics that with just bullet points that we can just kind of like look down at our computers, scroll, okay, he talked about this already, now I'm gonna say this, like for ideas, and then we can just kind of like add lib. During the summertime, we realized that we might not have sports during this fall, which is kind of our go-to for student experience. And so myself and a few other students kind of just started dreaming about what this would look like. Instead of doing a sports show, we turned it into an election show. In other words, instead of doing eight or 10 sports shows, we decided to take that eight hour period and put it into one big night. And it just happened to work out pretty well because obviously there was a presidential election this year. We started back in March. We had the idea to have an all-night election show. We Zoomed during quarantine a few times. We all were watching shows from 2016 to kind of familiarize ourselves with, you know, what national networks were doing and how they were covering the election. Hutton called me about five, six weeks ago, and he's like, hey, I'm looking for some producers to um, produce a, an election show that's going to run from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Are you interested? And I was like, I've never done it, anything like this before. I've never really been into politics, but yeah, sure, why not? So I jumped in, and I've mainly been helping plan the process of like what we're going to talk about and um, sort of organizing things and helping a little bit with ideas for interviews and then also starting to collect some B-roll, um, a lot of um, pictures and digging through. It's a lot. The biggest challenge for us is simply getting together and figuring out, okay, who goes in what spot the best? Because a lot of people want to be in front of the camera, but they honestly don't have the experience or the knowledge to talk about something that is so deep. Some people can do sports, some people can do news, but politics is very difficult. And so that's really been the hardest part is finding a position for each person. We have 25 people on the staff and so with COVID, it's very difficult to space them out. Um, and so we're gonna be on the air for six hours and really be here for about eight hours. And so that's been the biggest challenge is scheduling people and putting them in the right positions to succeed. It's crazy to think that we started so many months ago and it's, it's just a few days away because when I moved back to Abilene in August, um, we had weekly meetings, we had Zoom meetings, in-person meetings. We spent a lot of time preparing the script, the rundown, we did in-studio interviews, and just a lot of studying of the Electoral College and different swing states and um, about both different parties and candidates. So a lot of work has been going into this election show and we're really excited for it. I've always been working on this after school, after homework, and so it tends to be a little later at night, and I feel bad because pretty much everybody has woken up at one morning or another with a text from me asking a question, seeing if something is finished. My job here is to give the students the best experience, and we have a few million dollars worth of toys here, and so it's pretty easy to give them a good experience, but one step further is to trust them to produce, and that's really the hardest thing to teach, this is not a class. The students do get paid to do this, but they're not gonna become millionaires out of it, out of their hourly wage. The memories that I'll take from this are simply, again, just planning it from the very first day that we all got together to figure out, okay, what do we want this to look like? And then the students have taken it from there. I've just kind of been the bus driver. They're the ones that have come up with the script and all kinds of stories and features that you'll see during the broadcast tonight. And so what I'll take away from this is just Again, stepping outside of the classroom, which is what ACU is really about when it comes to the experiential learning. It's not so much about in the classroom, it's about the experience that you get with the students and the professors. And so that's, that's what I'm gonna take out of this. And this is really a perfect example of what ACU experiential learning is all about. I hope that the viewers just realize that, you know, students do care about the election. Um, they want their voices heard and they, they want to talk about it. I mean, I think a lot of times older generations kind of discredit us for just getting our information on social media, but um, if the group of people that have been preparing for this election show is any indication of how the rest of our generation gets their news, we have been studying so hard and learning so many things and really challenging ourselves and our own personal beliefs throughout this time period. And I really hope people are just proud of that. I hope that people realize that even a small university like Abilene Christian is able to accomplish this humongous thing that not many universities with thousands more people are doing. Um, so I just hope they're proud of us and I hope that they realize that we put a lot of work into it. 